Okay, welcome back. This is Vanessa, and we are here with the second section of the Tube Ranking Syndicate review, testing the Tube Ranking Syndicate, part one of three. And let's see what we've got in here. All right, first things first. What I don't like, Abdallah's market niche and product research. Well, I might like it if there was anything about it actually in the course. But what's in this course with regards to finding markets, niches, and products is not even worth mentioning. I can live with that because the stuff about getting and more importantly keeping your videos ranked is the primary focus of this course. And it's excellent information. That alone is easily worth 10 times the price of admission for the course. And because I already know how to do market research. So here's the deal. As I mentioned in the last video, I'll continue to test the ranking strategies. And if they work, and if you buy through my link, I'll give you a few different niche research strategy guides that I have in my own arsenal as a totally free bonus. Fair enough? All right, let's move on. Just after I finished reading the PDF and going through the videos, I decided to read over the Launch Jacking OTO, since, as I told you earlier, I have a great deal of experience with launch jacking, and it's something that I'm actually doing with this launch. But shh, that's our little secret. The only difference is that this time I'm going to be using only Abdallah's video ranking strategies and none of the things that I usually do to jack a launch. Incidentally, my own launch jacking system is far more in-depth and I've documented it, but I've never put that documentation up for sale anywhere. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to offer that as an OTO bonus. What that means is that if you do decide to buy a Dallas launch jacking OTO, I'll give you my own launch jacking system 100% free. We'll talk more about that later. For now, let's just get to the testing. So this product, the Tube Ranking Syndicate, will serve for our first test. And Treat Sciatica Now, a ClickBank product, is going to be my second test. And the reason that I did that is because I didn't want to promote another internet marketing product. I wanted to promote a niche product. That's why I chose ClickBank. I also wanted to choose a niche that I had some PLR content for so that I wouldn't have to create a whole lot of content since I'm on a time crunch to get results out of the test. But usually I would go check PLR, and now that we have the bonus from the tube ranking system, that will show us how to use that PLR very quickly. Uh, I would definitely be looking, going through my PLR once again and finding good products on either ClickBank or JVSU and uh, making videos for them to use this system if the rankings work out as well as I think they're going to. So uh, how did I use the ClickBank product? Well, I went to CB Engine and that is one of the uh, tools that Abdallah mentions in Tube Ranking Syndicate. However, when he shows it to you, he says, I recommend the $27 upgrade. And then the way he shows it, he's using the $27 upgrade. So he's not really showing you how to use the free version to do um, any type of product research. So all I really did was just poke around until I finally got frustrated and just typed the phrase real estate investing, which is my background, uh, into the search box. And, but I didn't really like anything I saw in ClickBank in that market. So at the bottom of the page was a related links list. And I just kept scrolling through until I found something I liked. And that was the sciatica guide. Now, I don't have a whole lot of intelligence on refund rate or how it's performed over time, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what I do know, though, is that I suffer from sciatic nerve pain. So I said, this will be interesting. It does have a good uh, gravity rating. It does have, I want to say, three or four out of five stars. Uh, it was very well received um, as a product from what I could see. So I decided to go ahead because really um, there are probably better choices, but I'm in a time crunch. And my goal right now isn't so much to make sales as much as it is just to test the video ranking strategies that are taught in the tube ranking system. Now, if I can get the videos ranked, then I know it's going to be worth it for me to dig deeper into uh, finding niches and products and doing keyword research and uh, you know creating great content with buyer keywords for these videos to get them ranked and hopefully make sales. But for now, again, the goal here is just to see if the videos actually do rank. Uh, so as long as I get rankings from these videos, I'll be happy to know and be able to report to you that the strategies are solid. And remember, if all goes well, I am promoting this as an affiliate. So if you do end up buying through my link, I'll give you my niche and keyword research strategies as a bonus. 
So the first thing I have to do is a keyword research. And again, although Abdala doesn't cover this in Tube Ranking Syndicate, he only covers it in one of his upsells, I'm going to go ahead and just show you what I'm going to do. For the Tube Ranking Syndicate video ranking test, I'm obviously going to go for the product name and maybe one other keyword related to video marketing. Since the product is new and hasn't even launched yet, it's doubtful that anyone is going to be searching for the product name plus review. But people might be searching for video marketing, video rankings, or video SEO type keywords, so I'll give those a shot. Now I've already used the Google Keyword Planner to get a seed list of keywords. And then I'll be choosing the keywords that I'm going to try to get my videos ranked for based on search volume. Now two things here. There are two schools of thought on video marketing. One is that you should pick a keyword that already has a video ranking on Google and that you can beat. And the other is that you should pick a keyword that does not have a video ranking on page one of Google for the keyword because that means there is no competition. The former assumes that if no video is ranking, it's because Google doesn't want to rank a video for that particular keyword. Abdallah doesn't mention this in his NIST research or his market research. So if the ranking strategies weren't so good, I may have abandoned this entire test already since it doesn't go into how to make videos either. But there really is enough readily available material out there that you can find that stuff easily and even for free and focus on the best part of this, which is the rankings. I also decided I have three separate products on how to make videos. Um, using various screen capture tutorials, Camtasia and Windows Movie Maker. So I'm putting those in as my bonuses as well. Now just for the record, I don't even know if I prefer keywords with video rankings that I can beat or keywords that have no rankings. And if there's absolutely no way I can tell because there's no way to have two identical control groups with no variables to test. I do know for certain that the two ranking syndicate videos, I won't be looking for video competition because I already know there won't be any. Now what I decide on for the sciatica problem is going to depend on the keyword search volume of the keywords. And if the highest ones have videos ranking already, if they do, I will look to see if I can beat them. If I can, that's the direction I'll take. If they don't have videos ranking, or if I can't beat them if they do, I'll take the keyword with the highest search volume with buyer intent and go for that one. I use a software program called Amazon Treasure Hunter to check the first page of Google for batches of keywords to see if those keywords have a video ranking on the first page of the Google search results for the keyword. This tool is no longer available, so I can't recommend it to you. However, I can recommend an even better alternative, which is Tube Sniper Pro. Alternatively, you can search each keyword in Google and look at the first page and see if there's a video ranking on that first page. Now, that is time consuming and very tedious, and it just so happens that uh, Tube Sniper Pro is brand new, and I already have Amazon Treasure Hunter, which is why I stuck with it. The Google Keyword Planner gave me 800 keywords for both sciatica and the tube ranking syndicate niche. After sorting the words by volume, I checked them in the Amazon Treasure Hunter and noted which keywords had videos in a spreadsheet. Once I've got the keyword research done, I move on to procuring content for this market. First, I'll check my own stash PLR. If I have no PLR in sciatica or sciatic nerve or anything similar, I'll check my resell rights clubs that I belong to and see if there's any in there. If I don't find any in the clubs, I'll have to check a few PLR sites to see if I can buy some PLR. And then I'll weigh the cost of buying that PLR against the cost of just outsourcing to iWriter for some text content that I can use to make the videos and write the descriptions. Once I have the content, I'll be using the spin text generator training that comes as a bonus to the tube ranking syndicate to follow the rest of the course. This guide is going to be my content for the videos for the tube breaking syndicate test. Now, Looking at the sciatic nerve niche, I have one keyword with only over 27,000 searches per month, but the buyer intent on it is borderline at best. I have two others that have definite buyer intent, and they have 3,600 and 1,600 searches, respectively. So here they are, okay? Sciatica treatment with borderline intent has 27,100 searches per month, and it does not have a video ranking on page one. How to treat sciatica is definite buyer intent that has 3,600 per month, and it doesn't have a video ranking on page one. And how to relieve sciatica pain has buyer intent. It has 1,600 searches per month, and it has no video ranking on Google's first page. None of these three keywords have a video ranking on the first page of Google search results. 
I found one sciatica complete website on Tradebit for 350, but it only comes with 10 articles and Tradebit sellers have a nasty habit of lying on their listings, often claiming that a product is PLR only for you to buy it, read the rights and find out that it's actually MRR and you're not allowed to change the content. I have nothing on my hard drive on this, very hard to believe, and nothing in my resale rights club. So I decided to just order three articles from iWriter. And once those are back, all that's left for me to do is begin implementing the tactics taught in the tube ranking syndicate. The tube ranking syndicate niche product we're going to be testing is a little bit different in that I'm going for a product name review and planning to jack the launch buzz all around it. So my secondary keywords are going to be related to the product review, overview, etc., etc. I did do some keyword research to see if I could find anything that would be suitable to go with the actual product name as a secondary keyword, but I'm in a time crunch just to see if I can get the rankings and decide whether or not the product fulfills its promises. It's not really going to matter if it sells, it's only going to matter if it ranks. The one wild card is that camp of beating videos that are already ranking on page one of YouTube for the keywords because Google wants to rank that keyword and may not rank at all because it's just not a cool keyword that Google wants to rank a video on page one for. So I did check and there are actually a couple of review videos of the tube ranking syndicate already ranking on page one of the Google search results. So whether or not we can beat them remains to be seen. Uh, that said, I've done my fair share of launch jacks, and I've gotten page one rankings even when no videos were ranking before I came along. So we shall see. All right. In the next video, we're going to start the test. So be sure to watch the next video, Testing the Tube Ranking Syndicate Part 2 of 3.